I've been following this series online called Crazy Faith, where Transformation Church and Pastor Michael Todd continue to emphasize that God strengthens the faith of the believer by doing things that are tangible, visual, and personal. Today, you heard the testimony of David Fowler, and he will share how it was the tiny little miracles that happened when he was just an adolescent that gave him the foundation of faith that he has today. I'm Claudia Parker, and 5 Minutes of Faith starts now. Hi, I'm David Fowler. I'm the assistant pastor of Zoe Life Ministry here in Chicago, Illinois, and I'm here with Claudia Parker with 5 Minutes of Faith. Growing up in uh, Chicago, in uh, the urban part of the city, uh, my mom, as we was young with two older brothers, you know, we didn't have a choice about going to church. And as we came older uh, and started experiencing things in our life, we kind of strayed away from uh, going to church or just knowing about God. Going through college, you know, pretty much was not regularly going to church, and then while in college experienced a lot of different things in life, it, it, you know, it had me one day just go out and just start taking a walk and just start questioning and asking about God and just pouring out to God, you know, about what is life, what is this, what are my purpose is doing. And from that, you know, I realized that, you know, I had to step up my game, you know, to know God more on a personal level. I just start reading the Bible and when I started reading where Jesus said, you shall have power, you shall have authority. And I realized, and not to knock where I came from, the ministry was not teaching this. And I'm like, God, you know, I'm seeing in your word what you said that we are, but there's the evidence is not here. So it challenged me to reach out to him and cry out to him, God, if you're real, I need to have an experience with you. I need to know your power. I remember working as a, an usher, and I, we do games, it was for Andy Frame, usher and service, and we'll do a sports events or concert. Didn't have any money, and I said, God, you said you was gonna provide for me. You said you'd take for me. All that I had to do was ask. I would go to work literally with nothing, no money to eat. And I'd be working in a section, and, and I said, oh God, okay, so you said you was gonna take care of me? I said, this is what I wanna eat. I want some popcorn. I want a hot dog. And before the event was over, or during the events, a, 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 a patron walk up, say, hey, I wanna buy you some popcorn. Another one come, hey, I wanna give you a pop. So they start building up my faith, you know, that saying what we ask for, God is concerned about every one of our needs. So that made me feel like I was 10 foot tall. And I was like, okay, okay. So even when going to work, you could work certain sections at, at the arenas where the uh, you would get treated better as a usher. And I said, God put me in a, in, a, in a premium spot. And I would get locations where I was, would work close by the athletes. I would see them, they would say hi to me. And that started building up my my faith and mature me so that when I pray, I realize God is concerned about every portion of our life. And now in life, you know, there's challenges that you go through as you, as you mature. And now God's saying, yeah, can you trust me as you walk through the challenge, not seeing the fishes, not seeing the loaves? Can you walk through it and still know that I'm still there? And this is now where I think a lot of people are, at, you know, dealing with where it's, everything is quick, fast, and hurry. They want everything. It seems like we're living in an age where everything is instant, but we're more stressed out. We with less time. And when we don't see things manifest, it says, God, is something wrong with me. There's nothing wrong with you. It's just you're walking out and believing and trusting what God says. Um, our sight is more, we can believe our sight versus more having faith of things that we don't see that God has promised us. And I think that's where more of the challenge lies as believers in the body of Christ. You know, when you know what God has promised and calls us to be, we are made in His image and in His likeness. That means we have a portion of His spirit. We have a portion of His power. And um, sometimes, our condition will pressure us to have an image that's not like God. You have an image of fear, an image of worry, an image of stress, but God called you and called me and called everybody. You're blessed, you're in his image. Sometimes we as the body of Christ may stain the people who are not in the body of Christ because of things that we say or act, but God loves us all. As he said in his word, 
you know, that he loved us, that he only gave us, he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believe in him shall not perish but have eternal life. And that's for everybody. And people in the world need to realize that people in the body of Christ are not perfect. We still have issues. We still messed up. And that's pretty much why we're still going to church to get it right.